What's the best way to lose weight? Um, the fastest way. Now they're all listening. Fastest way? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would say one meal a day. Yeah. Let's say you're not super active. Okay, mm. if you're if you're an athlete, if you're in the gym twice a day, no, eat eat throughout the day. However, most people tell me, coach, I can't train. I have this. I have kids. I have this. Okay, so then do one meal a day. Right. Just wake up. Don't eat. Have your dinner. One regular meal. Mm. And you'll lose weight, and you won't you won't have any health problems. You won't have any any deficiencies. Just eat a, a a healthy meal at night. One meal. See what happens after six months. You're not gonna be hungry until lunchtime. Uh, sorry, dinner time. Mm. You won't be hungry. Morning lunch. You won't be hungry. So fasting maybe. Fasting, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Mm. Some some people fast twenty four hours. Some people fast forty eight hours. Fasting is extremely healthy. For instance, in twenty sixteen. They gave the Nobel fr Prize for the discovery of autophagy. Autophagy, look, I'm not a biologist, but in layman's terms, I'm trying to do it uh, as much justice as I can. Basically, if you don't eat for a prolonged period of time, your body will start to eat the bad cells. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't know the, I don't recall the exact term, but basically there are cells that are replicated that are replicated, um, uh, not exactly, okay? They're, they're bad cells, okay? Again, please forgive the terms. These cells are digested, eaten by the body. They're destroyed by the body if there's no food coming in for a prolonged period of time. So the, the body will start to destroy, eat those cells first. So I really recommend the work of Jason Fung. Jason Fung uh, does a tremendous amount of, um, yeah. did a tremendous amount of work on, on uh, uh, research on fasting. Mm. And uh, he mentions autophagy in his work and he even believes it cures cancer. Now, so, yeah. What do you think of ketogenic diets? Ketogenic diet is good for, for somebody who's not very active. So ketogenic diet, for those of you who don't know, is you really limit your carbs to about 50 grams per day. That would be the average. Okay, so 50 grams of carbs per day. So basically you're eating greens, fats, and a little bit of protein. Mm. You're not eating even fruit. Now, it's not bad because you're never spiking your insulin. So you're going to start losing fat. I guarantee you, if you do ketogenic diet, you're going to lose fat. However, you lose a lot of muscle as well. You'll lose muscle. You won't be bulky, okay? So, for instance, a lot of people you see on Instagram, YouTube, these guys are on steroids, okay? They're telling you ketogenic diet, this and that, but they're on steroids. They don't tell you they're on steroids, but they're on steroids. They're on, they're on you know, they bulk up. Because the thing is, when you eat carbohydrates and you do spike your insulin, yes, it makes your fat cells bigger, but it also makes your muscle tissue bigger. So, for instance, a lot of ketogenic uh, diet, uh, people who are on the ketogenic diet, they'll also eat carbs at the right time. So before they go lift, bodybuild, or their sport, they'll eat rice. They'll spike their insulin because they need to feed that muscle. And even some will do it afterwards if they feel they need to bulk up even more. So they eat rice before and after. But because you're exercising intensely, you're burning those carbohydrates very quickly, and then you're back into your keto uh, burning phase. So for instance, um, to put it simply, when you eat carbohydrates, let's call it rice, bread, potatoes, your body fills your glycogen reserves. Your glycogen reserves, is, think about the, the, carb, the, the carbohydrates will go into your muscle, directly into your muscle, okay? Now, if there's an excess of carbs, then those carbs, after all the muscles are full of glycogen, your body's going to turn that into fats. Okay, forgive the terms. I'm not a biologist. I'm just giving you guys... Um, uh, it's probably better uh, in for a them. nutshell what yeah, I've been taught okay yeah. working with so many nutrition experts mm. they say okay look that's converted to fat if your reserves in your muscles are depleted you have no glycogen in your muscle and you eat rice right before and then you go train your body is going to prioritize that carbohydrate for the intense training you're about to do mm. and to increase the muscle mass so mm -hmm. it's called carb timing you time your carbs just right carb timing mm-hmm now, look, my opinion, this works. I've done it. It works. Uh, for me, it doesn't fit my lifestyle. So what I do is I eat my carbs in the morning. I eat my carbs at lunch. I go train, and then I go to bed. I don't eat, I don't, I don't eat any foods. I just drink water. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, my carbohydrate levels are depleted. When I wake up in the morning, I replenish them, and I go to train, and then I eat carbs in the afternoon. So me, I eat my carbs in the morning and in the afternoon. front loading? Front loading means I'm mm. having my food early in the day. Mm. Why am I front loading? Because I'm active during the day. Yeah. If you take two groups of people, one group that eats one meal 
a day at night. And, and uh, Jason Fung did this experiment, okay? He says, look, if one group ate their meal at night and one group ate their one meal. So they're only eating, both groups are eating one meal in 24 hours. One eats it in the afternoon, the other one eats it at night. The one who ate it in the afternoon, they lost more weight. Why? When you eat during the day, you have more energy. Mm. So you're going to be more active. So if I give you, if I give you, they've done this experiment as well. Take two groups. One group, we give them carbohydrates. One group, we don't give them carbohydrates. We put them keto. Both groups work out. The keto group spends more energy. They're far more active. So if we ask them to do any exercise, they're going to have more energy. The keto group is like lagging behind and they need, that's why even the keto practitioners will eat carbs before training. They see the importance of carbs. The way I strategize it is to make it really simple and make my life more simple because for me, timing my food right before practice, it's too complicated. I eat my carbs in the morning. I eat my natural foods in the morning. I eat my carbs in the morning. Then I have my lunch. And at 6 o'clock, I stop eating. So I eat from okay. 10 to 6. You now stop eating carbs or just Everything, any- all together, just water. Uh-huh. That's why today I'm just eating drinking water. Right. Now... If I want to lose even more weight, let's say, I, okay, now it's, I have to trim down a little more. I'll stop eating at three. So I go eat from 10 to three hmm. for a while. Well, not forever, for a while. And then, okay, when I lean up, okay, now I start eating from 10 to six again. Hmm. If I have a wedding or a family uh, get together, I won't eat 24 hours before. So I, when I sit down, when they offer me food, I won't be like, no, I can't eat. So this diet, it fits my lifestyle. Yeah. So I have like when I go see my mother, I have to eat. Mm. When I my, when I take my family to go see my mother, she's gonna cook <laughs> more than I can eat. You know, like mm. she's gonna. My mom is incredible. Mm. Uh, you gotta eat. You can't go there now and say, mm. "Khalas, I can't eat." Mm. You have to eat. Mm. So I know this. I won't eat twenty four hours before, so I can eat, and it won't change my body composition. Mm. That's pretty straightforward. I think a lot of people would grasp that. That's that, yeah. That's it's very that's, easy. Yeah, very yeah. easy. Ten to six or one mm. meal. Yeah. If you have a special occasion, yeah. 24 hours don't eat before. Mm. That's it. On that note, Jazakumullah Khairan for your pleasure, beautiful brother. insights on so many issues.